I've had this fish on my bucket list for a long time. The lake trout is one of the most sought after fish in the ice fishing world, but I've always been a little intimidated to target them. They can get up to 30 pounds and fight hard in depths that I'm not used to as an ice fisherman. I've done a lot of research on how to target these fish, and I'll be sharing what I've learned along the way. At the end of the video, I'll be going over what I think is the three most important things when targeting lake trout for the first time. We were staying at Poplar Point Camp near Elk Lake in northeastern Ontario. Our new friends Shelly and Nick dropped us off at a trout lake about 15 kilometers from camp. It was a beautiful ride down a nearby logging road, passing a few smaller lakes along the way. We went with two other guests staying at the camp, but other than that, we didn't see or hear another person all day. We started off by drilling a bunch of holes going away from a small island. We decided to fish a steep drop that went from 15 feet to 40 feet within a few steps. Just remember that most fish can't expel air from their swim bladders and won't survive being pulled up from 30 feet or more. Unlike lake trout, you can successfully catch and release them in deep water. We had a few fish chase and quickly learned how fast these fish wanted our baits. Some fish would chase from the bottom to the top and back down the water column again. I had a bunch chase, but I couldn't get them to bite. After a few hours with no fish, we decided to move the shack closer to 60 feet of water. We marked a few fish, but time was running out. I made a change from 20 pound fluorocarbon to 12. It was also much longer, about six feet of line this time. The other guys from the lodge gave me a pure white tube with a slightly heavier jig head. On the first drop, I had a fish chase and bite multiple times, but I still couldn't connect. With only 30 minutes left before we got picked up, I decided to make a move and start hole hopping outside in a last ditch effort to try to catch my first ever lake trout. came back a couple times to grab it. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful. Yes, let's go. First fish. Oh, we tried to there all day. I came outside to fish. <laughs> On the white tube jig. On the white tube jig. Let's go. Woo. What a grind. Holy. Just showed up out of nowhere. Slammed it like four times, man. Oh, I'm gonna need a minnow. Yes, let's go!
Deucer, Deucer. I need to change the GoPro angle as well. Okay. No! He's off! Oh. Dude, he was running with that. Is he off? No, he's here. He's here. He's coming huh? towards okay. us. He's coming okay. towards okay. us. He came towards us, man. Holy. This is a good one. Oh, look at that bend. Let's go! <laughs> Can you see him? No. Oh. Oh, he's, he's going under you. Dude. I see the leader. He doesn't want to come up. No. Guys. Oh my god. That's slam. Yeah! <laughs> it's big, it's Ooh. big! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Guys, we've been grinding. I'm just gonna like tuck it in there. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's make sure this GoPro setup is correct here. Bring it back to this. been grinding all day. The bite's been pretty slow. We moved over here. I caught my first one. You guys saw before. Pretty small. But that this thing <laughs> comes on the graph out of nowhere. Oh my god. Dude. What a monster. Oh, okay. Chris, I'm going to get you to switch to uh, a pitcher. Yes. <laughs> what a beautiful fish, dude. We're going to take a quick picture and then go back to video and then we're going to do the release. All right. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, so guys, we've been struggling. Uh, the guys over here, they're staying at the lodge. They gave me this white tube jig, and it just slayed. Thank, thank the boys over there. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Dude. Right, what a <laughs> Dude, I went from catching that little tiny one to that. <laughs> After grinding it out all day, we ended up trying a variety of different baits, techniques, and depths. I learned a ton, but these are the three most important things I wanted to share for your first time fishing for lake trout. Number one, a fish finder is essential to see what techniques and movements are going to trigger them to bite. I use the Garmin Striker 4 with the Ice Deucer, one of the best and most versatile fish finders for the money. I'll leave a link in the description below. Number two is use the whole water column. Don't be afraid to go fast. Lake trout are aggressive feeders and like the chase. Number three is change it up. Just like any other species, if they're not biting, change your line, change your baits, or change your spot. A few slight changes can completely change your day of fishing. The rod and reel setup that I was using was a 36 medium Shimano Sienna combo. You can get this combo for around 60 bucks when it's on sale. It's one of my favorite budget setups and should be perfect for these back lake lake trout. As for the bait that produced, it was a three and a half inch white tube jig with a three eighths ounce jig head. If you're looking into extending your ice fishing season or planning for next season, I highly recommend Poplar Point Camp. Their cottages come equipped with full kitchens and supplies, three piece bathrooms, including showers and comfy beds. They also have permanent ice fishing huts for rent and access to so many amazing fishing opportunities. I'll put all their information in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the next video. But for now, these are the two videos YouTube thinks you should watch next.